How's it going, everybody? C Rad TV back here with another video. So, of course, we're getting down to the last couple weeks of the NFL season. Two weeks left in the season. We're on to the week 16 NFL picks. We're getting down to home stretch to decide who will battle for the trophy and who will be sent to Elimination Station. So, of course, with all that said, let's go ahead and let's take a look at this week's matchup. So, of course, last week in my picks, I went 9 and 7. So my record this year improves to 141 and 84. But yeah, with all that talk out of the way, let's go through this game and tag check out the picks for this week. So let's go ahead. So of course, starting this off, we're gonna have four, of course have Saturday Friday afternoon football. Friday evening football on Christmas Day. 4:30 game on Friday on Christmas. We have the Minnesota Vikings and the New Orleans Saints taking place in New Orleans. And, of course, um, the Saints lock up the NFC South with a win. Or they lock it up with a Buccaneers loss. The Buccaneers play Saturday. Yeah, I got the Saints in this one. The Vikings are also trying to hold on to whatever playoff hopes they have left. I got the Saints in this one. The Saints, you know, of course, they're coming off that big heartbreaking loss against the Chiefs last week. I think the Saints bounce back and they get that win against the Vikings. Sent... So yeah, I will take the Saints in that one. Give me New Orleans at home. Now to the Saturday games. We have three Saturday games to go through. So the first Saturday game, the first on Boxing Day. First game we have, we have on Saturday at 1 o'clock. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Detroit Lions playing in Detroit at Ford Field. Of course, Tampa Bay trying to keep pace in the NFC wildcard race. And for Detroit, um, Detroit's in an interesting situation. Like, they're almost their entire coaching staff is on the COVID list. So we don't even know who the coach is going to be for this game. So yeah, so many questions for this game. So with all that uncertainty there, I'm just going to go with the safe pick here. And I'm going to take Tampa Bay on the road. I think Tampa Bay would be the safest pick here. So I'm going to go Buccaneers in this one. Give me Tampa Bay on the road. Tampa Bay's my lock of the week. Next game, the 4:30 game, we have the San Francisco 49ers and the Arizona Cardinals playing in Arizona. This game will be pretty normal for San Francisco and Arizona since San Francisco's been playing a lot of their home games as of late in Arizona due to um, lockdown restrictions down in Santa Clara County and putting a ban on contact sports in that in Santa <laughs> Santa Clara. See so yeah, this one. Um, of course, Arizona also trying to keep pace in the NFC wild card race too. I'm gonna go with the Cardinals at home here in Arizona to take care of business on at home. So I'll go Arizona at home. Give me the Cardinals. Next game. This is a big game of playoff implications. Miami Dolphins, Las Vegas Raiders playing in Las Vegas. Of course, some of the Raiders need to win this game to keep their season alive. Dolphins trying to keep pace in the wild card race in the AFC. So this game has big implications in terms of the AFC wild card race. I'm going to go with the Dolphins on this one on the road. Um, the Dolphins have a lot of momentum on the road so far, this so far as of late. And the Raiders have just looked a little lost this year. Uh, I think the Raiders could eventually get there, but they're a few pieces away. They're going to need a draft or two to get together. The Raiders are almost there, but I think they're still got a few pieces away. See, I'm going to take the Dolphins on the road in this one. Give me Miami. And now to the Sunday games. It is time to prepare for our Tank Bowls. So this Tank Bowl will see the Carolina Panthers and the NFC least leading Washington Noskins. And of course, I'm in this division regardless of who wins. The division winner will either finish 8-8 eight eight or worse. So we're guaranteed to have a team with either a 500 record or a losing record this year in the playoffs. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't care if Washington wins the division. They don't, no one in that division deserves to be in the playoffs. No one deserves to be in the playoffs in the NFC East. Honestly, their playoff spot should be stripped and it should be a fourth wild card. But yeah, for this one, I'm going to take Washington at home because Washington can also lock up the least division with a win and a Giants loss. See, I'm going to go with Washington on this one. Give me the Washington in this one. 
Next game. This is also a big game of playoff implications. Indianapolis Colts, Pittsburgh Steelers playing in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh trying to lock up the AFC North. So, of course, some of the Steelers, they can lock up the AFC North with a win and a Browns loss or a Browns loss. And, of course, the Colts um, trying to keep pace in the AFC in the AFC South race with them and the Titans. So, yeah, for this one, I'm going to take the Colts on the road in this one. Just Pittsburgh's look completely lost the last few weeks. They've never... I got the start eleven and zero. They've lost three straight games. They've just looked lost as of late, especially the last couple weeks when they've when they played. Last three weeks they played winnable games and then played down to their competition and made games more competitive than it should have been. And last week, last week they should have easily beaten the Bengals, and then they played down to them and made it more competitive. And look what happened! It bit them in the ass. So yeah, and if and if the Browns win this week, watch out. Week seventeen, it's Bra Pittsburgh plays Cleveland. Week seventeen, if Cleveland wins their game this week, week seventeen is a battle for the AFC North, and that could more than likely could be the Sunday night game winner take all. See, so yeah, I'm gonna take the Colts on the road in this one. Give me Indianapolis. Next game, we have the Atlanta Falcons, Kansas City Chiefs playing in Kansas City. Chiefs lock up that lock up the number one seed in the AFC with a win. Yeah, I'm gonna take the Chiefs at home in this one. Um, Chiefs can also lock it up with a Bills loss. Yeah, I've got the Chiefs in this one. The the Falcons are just completely lost. They're just throwing the season away for a draft pick. Give me the Chiefs in that one. Next game we have the Chicago Bears, Jacksonville Jaguars playing in Jacksonville. Of course, some Chicago trying to keep trying to keep whatever playoff hopes they have alive in the NFC wild card race, and the Jaguars they're trying to tank hard and secure the number one pick and the rights to Trevor Lawrence, thanks to the Jets butt fumbling their tank last week. Don't worry, we'll get to the Jets in a little bit. But yeah, this one I feel like Jacksonville's going to try and continue their tank for Trevor now that they're in the catbird seat to get Trevor Lawrence. But yeah, give me the Bears in this one. I'll take Chicago on the road. Give me Chicago. It would be funny as hell, though, if Jacksonville actually beat the Bears and fucked their tank up, too. It would be funny as hell if that happened. But yeah, give me the Bears in this one. But yeah, Chicago, all it took for you is to get back to your winning ways was just for Judah Tribe to quit on the season. Maybe if Judah Tribe retired from YouTube permanently, maybe Super Bears Super Bowl would be a reality. Because keep in mind, Bears, you've been 2-0 since Judah Tribe quit since Judah Tribe quit on the season and retired at for the season and stopped making videos this season. Just going to put that out there for you. Next game, we have the Cincinnati Bengals. Houston, Texas playing in Houston. Of course, Houston at this point, both teams are eliminated. Houston just trying to get, trying to win as many games as possible, trying to get their first round pick to lose as much value as possible. Since that pick belongs to the Dolphins. And right now as it stands, that pick could be a top 10 pick. See, I'm going to go with the Texans on the road in this one, on, at home in this one. Give me Houston at home. Next game, we have New York Giants. Baltimore Ravens playing in Baltimore. New York Giants trying to keep their hopes of winning the NFC least alive. Baltimore trying to keep pace in the AFC wild card race. So a game of playoff implications for both teams. I'm going to go with the Ravens in this one. Give me Baltimore at home. Next game, we have the Cleveland Browns. New York Jets playing in at MetLife. Of course, the Browns trying to keep pace with the Steelers in the AFC Wild Card in the AFC North race. Also, the Browns can lock up a playoff spot with a win. And the Jets, of course, they're trying to keep pace with the Jaguars in the tank for Trevor Lawrence. And, of course, the Jets, they butt-fumbled the perfect tank by beating the Rams last week. See, I'm going to go with the Browns on the road in this one. And, yeah, if the Steelers lose and the Browns win, Week 17, Steelers-Browns for the AFC North winner take all. Just when it looked like the Browns were out of it, now Pittsburgh goes in a slump and Cleveland's taking advantage of it. And, honestly, I, ho I honestly ruin for Cleveland to win the AFC North. The Browns deserve the division. They, they need it. Like, they deserve it. 
They need it, man. They need it, man. They need a division title after years of futility. They need it badly. So, yeah, give me the Browns in that one. Next game. Did we have ourselves a tank bowl in the AFC West? <laughs> So this tank bowl will see the Denver Broncos and the Los Angeles Chargers at SoFi Stadium. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Chargers on this one. The Broncos have just looked completely lost. The Chargers, of course, just, they've been they've been competitive enough. They just haven't been able to seal the deal. Like, Justin Herbert's had a really good season. He looks like he's definitely the Chargers QB of the future. Just need to surround him with all the tools he needs to succeed, and you can be good to go. But yeah, give me the Chargers in that one. In our next game, it's a battle in the NFC least in the Tank Bowl. So this Tank Bowl will see a great rivalry. As it will be the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys playing in Dallas. The Cowboys looking completely lost this year. Just They are just been... They did get a win last week against the Rams. I mean the 49ers. And the Eagles of course having a heartbreaking loss against the Cardinals. But the Eagles offense looks like it's turned a stuck corner around now that Jalen Hurts is the QB. And it looks like the Jalen Hurts could be the Eagles starting QB for the foreseeable future. See, I'm going to take the Eagles on this one. Yes, I'm going to take the Eagles to sweep the season series over Dallas. Shocking, isn't it? But yeah, now the question for the Eagles is, what happens with Carson Wentz? Does Carson Wentz get traded for draft picks in the future? You know, it's, it's going to be an interesting QB market, for sure. But yeah, I'm going to take the Eagles on the road in this one. Give me Philadelphia. Next game, a game of playoff implications. Los Angeles Rams, Seattle Seahawks playing in Seattle. Both the Rams, of course, trying to lock up the AFC, NFC West. The Seahawks trying to keep pace and try and win the NFC West, too. And, of course, some um, the Rams losing to the Jets really would really help the Seahawks there. This game, good to decide the division. And Seattle can't... Could, I, I'm not sure. Did Seattle in the playoffs? If not, then they could lock themselves in with a win. But yeah, this game could potentially decide who wins the NFC West. I'm going to go Seattle in this one. I said at the start of the year, Seattle would win the division. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to go Seattle on home in this one. Give me the Seahawks. Of course, next game. The Sunday night game. A game with playoff implications too. We have the Tennessee Titans, Green Bay Packers playing in Green Bay. So, of course, some Tennessee trying to walk up a playoff spot and try and hold on to division lead over the Colts. The Packers, of course, the Packers could lock up the number one seed in the NFC with a win and a Saints loss. But, of course, um, the Packers defense, can they stop Kane Derrick Henry? That's going to be the question here. I think this is going to be a very close game. Going to be a tight matchup, but yeah. Packers in prime time. Yeah, I've got Tennessee in this one. Fuck Green Bay. I'm taking the Titans on the road. Give me the Titans. I'm taking Tennessee on the road. And then our final game this week. The Monday night game. Buffalo Bills, New England Patriots playing in Foxborough. Of course, I'm Buffalo. Buffalo trying to keep pace. Trying to keep their hopes. Any hope if they have of keeping the number one seed in the AFC alive. If not, they're battling for the number two seed with the Steelers in the AFC. And of course, on the Steelers, the, the Bills would hold a tiebreaker over the Steelers with head to head. And of course, on Buffalo trying to do something they haven't done in a long time sweep the season series over New England. And oh, yeah, if Buffalo wins this game. Then for the first time since 2000, New England would finish, would end up with a losing record. They would not have a winning season. It's looking very likely. Yeah, like New England's just been completely lost this year. Like I think New England's just pretty much destined for mediocrity around that six and ten, seven and nine range because Bill Belichick's the type of coach where he's never gonna tank. 
The only way the Patriots will ever tank is if Bill Belichick's not there. Like, Bill Belichick will never tank. He's not that kind of coach. But yeah, I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills on, on, on the road in this one. Give me Buffalo. But yeah, those are my Week 16 picks. We're almost at the playoffs. But yeah, that's all I got to say. Hope everyone has a great day, and yeah, peace.